I guess this is officially episode two Dulce. of our No Name podcast. <laughs> so mm-hmm. we are nameless. <laughs> What's up, y'all? DJ Felly Fell, Nasty Nor. Yes. Vinny the Freaking Rican. We here. We still don't have a name, but Help we're gonna right. we're gonna give you some of the names that have been suggested to us. Correct. <laughs> they swung and miss big time. And then Several after we after we go over our name stuff, uh, today's topic, Nasty Nor. Jobs. Worst job Ooh. we've ever had. Worst jobs out there. This is going to be fun. We're, we're going to tell you our jobs uh, before we've had the amazing jobs that we have now. Speak for yourself. And <laughs> and we're going to discuss... Uh, <laughs> we're going we're gonna to discuss some um, celebrity jobs okay. before yeah. they became big artists and rappers and actors and, and all that. I like that. Word. Let's do it. Word. Um, Name so us for, in Burbank. First and foremost, I got to say that the name that keeps coming back, <laughs> thanks to one of our producers. Please uh, don't say it. Digital producers, now Mars. he has to say it. Jigs and gigs. He we suggested have, it in all seriousness. All seriousness. Yep. All j- seriously jokingness. Mm-hmm. And it just keeps coming back because <laughs> I think the reason this name keeps coming back, by the way, it doesn't mean shit. Yeah. And that's the thing about podcasts. The name doesn't matter. So yeah, that's where we keep coming up with Jigs and Gigs. podcast makes the name. The name doesn't make the podcast. That's right. So the reason this name keeps coming back is because all the suggestions have been so shitty <laughs> that we keep going back to, man, fuck this. Let's just call it Jigs and Gigs. So, um, well, what, is it, what is Jigs and Gigs? Like a gig jigs? is like exactly. <laughs> hey, you got, a, you got a DJ gig tonight? Yeah, I'm going to do a jig when I get there. There it is. Well, um, that don't mean shit. Like I said, it had a jigsaw puzzle. <laughs> it is a puzzle trying to figure out this motherfucking name. You know name what my name show. was? Today I just came up with it. You know, yeah. Odd Future? I think we should be the antithesis of that. We should be like even, even present. <laughs> yeah. That could stick. <laughs> you know what I mean? We got yeah, the Odd even, Future even logo. Even present is better even, than even past. That's right. So yeah. we'll work with that. We've the one had, I keep getting is Felly and Friends. Not going to happen. Oh, my God. Power <laughs> Podcast. Come on, guys. Can we yeah, get more terrible. original? Uh, Let's go. Let me see. I got a couple right here. F and V was one of them, but it sounds like you're fucking me. Yeah. So. <laughs> F and V, Felly Our and Vinny. Yeah. We just left good. Nora out of that yeah. bitch. <laughs> um, let me see. Wouldn't be your guys' first time. No, oh. would it? <laughs> um, lunchroom <laughs> Talk. In Room 106. Okay. Uh, shout out to my boy Clayton, Big Clay from 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 Dina, uh, aka LBC. Uh, he said, "Felly's Roundup." So I'm like okay. the cowboy, and you guys are the cattle. So we're the illegal Yeehaw. immigrants. I'm rounding That's y'all. That's what up. we are. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> because we're brown. Yeah. Felly's, Come on, man. That's Felly's racist bullshit. Yeah, Clay, what's going on, man? That's why <laughs> we keep round up. Round them up. <laughs> round them up. Round them up. Yeah. See them motherfuckers. Get them. How about them cowboys? <laughs> This portion of the podcast is brought to you by Jergens Ultra Healing. <laughs> Jergens repairs and heals extra dry skin. We don't You're have a sponsor welcome, Jergens. yet. <laughs> so, Jigs, yeah, we still gigs, need and name, guys. <laughs> Jigs, Com- gigs and Jergens. Comment right here. Uh, before we comment on any more names or before we move forward, I, I want to say that I, I I was playing ball last night as we do every Probably Wednesday. Loves to play with balls every Wednesday. That's and, true. <laughs> And by friends. the way, we had a great run. Shout out to the homies that, that were balling last night. And J. Cole's manager uh, showed up. He hadn't balled with us. on. He's been on our email for probably six years. Okay. And the first time, he's been about a year since he showed up. First time in a year, he shows up last night. We started talking. I said, hey, man, I need a solid. Uh-oh. I don't ever bug you for shit. You know, it, it, we go way back. You know, Are you I gave backing them up in the post while you're talking. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we were on the same team. Okay. We were on the same, and we never lost. That's right, never and, lost. Uh, yeah, we never lost. So, asked him. I said, "Hey, man, how can we get? We got to get Cole on the show. I know he doesn't do a lot of. Uh, told him about the podcast. I'll said, start campaigning yeah, right I now. Yeah, that's that. <laughs> biggest we'll fan in the campaign. world of Big Jake time. Cole right here. So I had that little talk with him, and I was like, "Hey, man, you know." I know Cole doesn't do a lot of interviews. I know he's eventually going to want to do something. That's what we should name it, J. Cole's Podcast. Right. That'll get him on the show. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. The irony would be if he never showed up on the show five years later. And, and it's what called if J. Does, Cole's like, Podcast. Like, episode 39. That's and he right. he pulls up. Wow. Like, imagine. Imagine yes. if we. get it to exist. Here's what would happen. Right. We name it J. Cole's Podcast, mm-hmm. and we do it for like 16 episodes. And on the 17th, we're like, guys, it's not going to. And <laughs> we call coming. it something else, and then we get that call. Hey, J. Cole really wants to be here. On uh, Felly and Friends. Wow. But wow. Uh, anyway, Cole. So you're calling in the favor. 
You're already calling yeah, in the I, big guns. I didn't guns. call it a fair. I just had that combo. Pop it up okay. for Felly. But yeah, yeah. thank you. I mean, thank you guys. Thank Good you job. guys. So this podcast is sponsored by Dreamville. We there it might is. have another sponsor <laughs> on the show Ooh. one of these days. <laughs> um, this year, he yes, might be on yes, this year. Yes. 2020. So that out of the way, we don't have a fucking name for this show. Yeah. Uh, for yeah. now, we're just going to be Jigs and Gigs, aka J Cole's podcast. <laughs> Jigs, Gigs, and Jergens. Mm. And on on that note. <laughs> Let's get into our topic of the day, which I'm excited about this. Yeah. For multiple reasons, Nasty Nor. Talk to me. You talk to me. Oh. You're the, one that, you're <laughs> you the keeper the topic. of the topic. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, you know, over the last few days, that story with, like, Young Jock riding for the rideshare company right, went right, viral. Right. And, Basically you know, working for, like, an Uber. Right. And some people think it's, like, this huge marketing scheme. Because think about it. Young Jock is getting paid for his radio show. He's getting paid for, like, what is he? Love and Hip Hop, is it? Mm -hmm. He... I looked up his net worth, and it says that his net worth is $4 million. Solid. So, he might not, maybe he's putting this right chair company on the map, but if he's not. You mean to try to call Jock right now? Try it. And, and a, let's ask him. Go. Yeah. And It's going down. This is not pre-rehearsed, uh, pre-staged <laughs> no, or whatever. Not at all. The funny thing, because, so, one we, of my we best. We rehearsed everything else but one, that. One of my best. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Everything else you heard in this podcast is all pre-rehearsed. Pre, pre, uh, but so I go back with Jock because one of my best homies that I grew up with in Atlanta is Jock's uh, cousin. Actually, I think nephew. Uh, but Something I, there. I, I, when I was in Atlanta over the holidays, I reached out to Jock and we were texting. And uh, you sure you just said that's my nephew? Yeah, let me let me, let me I'm gonna put him on speaker. Let's see if he answers. Okay. He might be driving, we ought to be careful. Yeah, he, might be, he might be at work. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's dope see. though. Like, what if you like, if you're a hip hop artist or a rapper, like, what what better way? You go into these Uber cars anyway. You could bump bump whatever the fuck you want, so you right. could play your own shit, promote it. Come on, ain't no shame Get in that. The streaming numbers up. That's right. Come on. Hopefully the mic picks us up. Hello, Jock. Yeah, Felly. <laughs> what up, Felly? What you doing, man? Are you driving right now? No, nah, I'm at a club. At the club, You're live on my podcast right now, by the way, on speaker. <laughs> we first, first of all, I know we, we we texted over the holidays and we didn't get a chance to you know hook up when I was in the ATL, but I hope you had a great Christmas and a happy New Year. Hey man, I did, and I hope the same for you. <laughs> we have a question. Thank you, by the way. Okay. Are you was the rideshare company that, that you posted the other day? Are you are you legit working for that company, or was that to, I, we we need to we need to figure this out? Okay, so as I told you in the, the um as, as I told TMZ in the interview with them, it's very simple. So I'm an honorary brother, a big brother, big sister, right? Now. It's hard for me to tell kids to go out here and work and campaign to raise money for our organization. It's hard for me to tell adults to go do that if I can't lead by example. So I was willing to show them that I would do anything to raise money, you know what I'm saying, to benefit the cause of the organization, which is paying big brothers and big sisters mm. with little brothers and little sisters. You understand what I'm saying? Got gotcha. you. So, in doing my research on this company, <laughs> as I came across it, my girl Angie, who's a protege of mine, I brought her on to be an assistant, and she became a sales rep at my station here in Atlanta, on Street 94.5. So, she found them. She found it on the web, on the, on the internet. I was like, you should try something like this. I said, okay, cool. I said, I want to do something innovative, something that, you know, could just be done and, and the money could go right to it. So this thing, you only pay for it thirty nine ninety nine a week, unlike if you did an Uber or Lyft. Since I'm always moving around in the city, downtown, I'm like, you know what? I will probably get less spending people in that area that will get in. I ain't got to be worried about getting robbed, but I'm willing to show these kids and these adults. All you got to do is put your best foot forward. Stop. It's all about how you start. Mm. It's about how you finish too, but it's about how you start. The initiative is very important. So I realized that if I made $1,000 in one week, I could only donate $500 because 200 of that was going to go to gas and 30% was going to either go to Uber or Lyft. Mm. Well, with this company, if I only paid thirty nine ninety nine, 
then I would only have to pay $100 worth of gas to make $1,000. And once I paid them the 39 I would only be spending $140. I would take the risk, and I would be able to, to <clears throat> I would be able to donate more to Big Brother Big Sister Foundation. So that's kind of how it happened. And it just happened that the, per the person got in the car and just was talking crazy. So if had they not said what they said about me falling off, it probably wouldn't have been such a big deal because I would have, been, I would have probably explained to them what I was doing. And I would have asked them to donate to the charity. You get what I'm saying? But because they kept saying you fell off, you fell off, that touched people in, in all over the world. Because, I mean, I'm getting, I'm getting stuff inboxed to me from... Australia, New Zealand, Germany, uh, Tokyo, Spain. People are calling me from all over the world, not just in America. And the, the outpour of support here in the States is so great, man, that it, it, it really it shocked the hell out of me that so many people would be willing to support that and not be taking shots at me. Bro, first of all, I'll, let me just start by saying that that's amazing. And the other thing I want to tell you is Will you still be working for this ride share so next time I land in Atlanta at the airport you can pick me up? I just might because it's so funny. Okay. I'm about to get some good content out of people jumping in the car with me. It and went from. Be, it'll be so, so just like you got me on your podcast, I'm going to have you on mine. Let's go. So, <laughs> But here's the funny thing, and Jock, you can testify to this. So it went from back in the day, I used to call Jock because Jock used to have uh, uh, an exotic car company. And I would oh, call wow. Jock and and ask him, "Hey, man, I'm about to land, and I need a I need a whip." Mm -hmm. And Jock would h hook up the car, and so now I just call him and get a ride. Right. Uh, <laughs> so. How <laughs> things change, but it's still good on this end. Yeah. <laughs> so, what would be a job that Young Jock had back in the day that wasn't so great before he blew up as Young Jock, the MC, the rapper? I was a. Uh, I worked on the railroad okay. as a groundsman. Mm. And, I, and so it was intermodal commerce, meaning like when you see the train, when you see the tractor trailer boxes coming in on the train, I would have to make sure all the locks, all the locks were locked on, the IBCs and the box connectors were locked. I would have to make sure all the, the, the trucks were lined up properly for the crane to load them on there. It started off as a very bad job for me because you work 12 hours a day and you out in the elements, whether it's rain, sleet, hail, snow. The only thing to get you off that yard is lightning. Mm. So that was a hard job for me because I saw a lot of cats die Ooh. from being naked Damn. at work. Yeah, so that was one of the worst jobs I ever had. But it turned to be a good one because I moved from being a groundsman up to being a hostler driver which is the truck that drives the tractor trailer. Uh, but it's a trailer. It's a smaller tractor, so it's like driving a tractor trailer because you're pulling the trailer. Uh, then I went from that on to being a crane operator on the yard, uh, which is a, a gantry crane, a multi-million dollar piece of equipment that I operated at the tender age of 19. So that's something people might not know about me. <laughs> at the tender? I was gonna, that was my next question. How old were you? Uh, I was 19. Well, yeah, I started at 19. Started on the railroad and look at you now, man. And that's nothing against people who are working hard, you know, with, with the railroad system. Is that, that's a tough job. And I've right. always heard about, I think we all have, about just how dangerous it is, you know, working on the railroad. Um, Jock, next time you come out here to L.A., you know, hit us up, bro. You got you to gotta come see us in person. But thank you, man. Thanks for picking up the call, too, man. And this, this <laughs> might have been the most ghetto way to do it. I'm literally holding the speakerphone up to the microphone. So this is it's part of your job, man. Come on. <laughs> Yeah, Albert, this might be the most ghetto interview that we've ever done. Come on. Uh, but you're a real one, brother. I love you. I'll see you soon. All right, bro. Love, man. I'll see you later. All right, Jock. All right, peace. Dang. That's so dope how Jock, like, how he explained that. Yeah. See how it, it, the media, if it's covered differently, be like, oh, washed up rapper, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But he does it, he's doing it for a great oh, cause. Man. And, and, and honest a, to God, everybody, I'm going to look at the camera for this. We didn't plan that. I, like, I honestly <laughs> didn't even think he was going to answer. Right. Uh, <laughs> but that was dope. So we got Jock that's doing the ride share, and that's such a great thing. And a lot doing. of people here in L.A. do the ride share. Right. Yeah. Or do but him participating in that. Post -mode. <laughs> Post, Malone's Post Malone's? Post Malone is now driving. Um, <laughs> so, and, and then he worked. He worked on the railroad. I think that's a good transition into before we talk about some of the other celebrities that we've 
encountered that have had their worst jobs. Crazy jobs. Mm. I think um, I want to hear from Vinny. Okay. About yeah. about your one of your first you know crazy <laughs> jobs before you started getting you know doing what you love in the music industry. Um, off top, being a busboy was the worst toughest job I ever Same. had. Same. Yeah. I, I had it first. <laughs> I had it for like that's the funny. I was like <laughs> 17, 16 and going on seventeen for like three months. I couldn't hang with it. Like it's it was tough. at Vince's Pasta and Pizza where I grew up in the Alamo Valley. Vince's, Vince's <laughs> Pasta and Pizza. That was my like Classic. first. I, I worked at a couple other places, but that was my first like. You had the homies like, oh, is this your spot? Yeah. No, Vince, Vince's. <laughs> yeah, you got pops, a medium pops. pepperoni and mushroom, dude. So it, if I if I'm telling you a bus boy's job is one of the toughest you already know being in the food industry so between mopping washing dishes i would get anxiety if i saw a big ass baseball party coming through oh i'm like gosh. i'm fucked you know what i mean so and then they, the waiter leaves you a piece of their tip i don't know how you did it back in the day but the waiter would leave like if they got Trump a ten dollar tip yeah. they leave me like a dollar and ten cents so there was no waiters like, so they would like shit? so they will order straight from the you know, you pull up, you order, and then you go sit down. So I'd have to literally wait for people to be done with their shit so I can start on cleaning and wrapping it up. <laughs> it got so bad to the point where I was, my parents told me this story, like I was like sleeping and you remember Step Brothers, the movie? Of course. <laughs> remember how Will Ferrell and, and homie just got up and was like, rrr, 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 yeah. like walking around? <laughs> yeah. My parents walking. told me no. I was I got up and I, I started like mopping and shit. Like, no. like, like you had you yeah, were like I was like And I and they were like, Vinny, Vinny, what I I wasn't hearing them. I was just like cleaning shit no. up with like sleepwalking. Dog. And that was like that's easily my worst job. That was like, I, and then the funny thing is, is like I would find, you know, like calling in sick. And then I, by the third time I called in, I was coming from like TJ in Mexico. So it was like, they, they I called them up. I was like, hey, you know, my, my car broke down, my tire, I got a tire. They're like, you know what? Don't come in anymore. It's it's <laughs> over for you. And I'm like, home. and I'm like, yes, it was, I, I don't know why I kept working uh, there. You know, like you can look. And by the way, it was like, I think I was making 425 an hour. Yes. That was the minimum wage. Oh you know what I mean? Gosh. I think mine, no joke, was like 375. Yeah. Uh, so, but that was my worst job. Because it was mine before. Was I, it was a little before. But before you oh that's great so bus boy yes Man, that's I, it I that was it for me with you i'm gonna switch mine but i do agree i think busing was the hardest job i had which mean you gonna switch yours well mine is also but being a bus girl, oh mine was uh, that's mine is that really the worst job <laughs> me and okay. him actually had this conversation yesterday. i think it might be the best and worst job best yes. because of the tips because it had like consistent cash flow but a dollar and ten cents yeah i get i get changed hey, sometimes a from a waiter and yeah 10 cents. but i mean i guess if they were a shitty waiter and they only got a two dollar tip they're leaving me a like 15 cents exactly right. but you know when people have their like they're angry and they're hungry and they're like all attitude and like I started mm. working when I was really young like I was 14 that's so against the law I know my uncle owned the restaurant <laughs> totally illegal <laughs> this is how Middle Eastern people do it okay yes, okay yes. Vinny Latinos know there, trust work, me girl. Latinos know <laughs> it's the same shit no but I was like like a young teenage girl so I kind of was like sensitive still I'm kind of sensitive not gonna okay. lie Damn but right no, you are. no but one time this, this uh, old couple Couple. It was mostly like senior citizens. I'll never forget the day. I had put down their pancakes and the butter just like slid off the pancake and fell onto a chair. <laughs> and the man, the grumpy old man got so mad and he's like, wow, like what do I have to do to get some decent service and sure not it wasn't wear my felly? food? It was not felly. <laughs> <It's> hilarious. <laughs> no. Damn. But yeah, no, exactly. My, I went in the back and I took it so like to heart. I like started to cry and my <laughs> uncle was like, what happened? I was like, table 10, like he got mad because the butter was fell. at the restaurant? He owned he it. He owned oh. it. You're not listening. I was 14, yeah. okay, oh, as a man. child. <laughs> There's labor laws against having <laughs> kids working and my uncle having working, okay? So my uncle, like, he's like, okay, don't worry. Like, I'll go handle it. So he was, like, total, like, nice guy. So I thought he was going to go over there and, like, you know, I'm sorry. Here's 10% off. Mm -hmm. He said... If you ever talk to her like that again, you might as well go somewhere else. Like hell yeah! Like he just handled it. And I was just like, I started to cry even more. I was wow. kind of like, oh my god, he's like the nicest guy, and he went and like told someone to leave his spot. Like that's crazy. I, I thought he was gonna do the opposite and show you like this is how you handle like a disgruntled. No, you know he, he told him like pretty <laughs> much good. don't come back. I like that. I they like came that back style. though, and I was just like, you came oh. over there with some pancakes and butter off top. Like, Here I, you go. Yeah, I had a chip on my shoulder too. I was like, my uncle in the back. What you going? 
gonna do? <laughs> but nowadays, that's what I'm saying. When you, when I go to a restaurant and stuff like that, it's like I totally like I tip well. I yes. you know what I mean? Like I oh I don't ever want to be that person that oh, says yeah. there's oh for sure. I asked for sesame seeds oh, yeah. and there's fucking only twenty. <laughs> I asked for twenty two. You know I'm not that. Right. And I hate to learn. say this, but there's times and I don't know. <laughs> what was yours? I'll tell you, but I want to tell you, I go into restaurants and I think sometimes they see me and the people I'm with or maybe the family and they're like, they don't think it's going to be a good tip. And I can tell oh, by the wow. way oh, the yeah, service is. Totally. Oh, what? And I'll just, I'll just tip extra big. Hell yeah. And a lot of my, my, my family and my friends are like, don't do that shit. Fuck that. Blah, yeah, blah. do the opposite, right? But I'm like, nah, because we got to come back here. Mm. You right. know what I'm saying? Because no, <laughs> mainly it's a place that we really like. Exactly. Yeah. But you can't pick your waitress or waiter. Yeah. Right. So I always end up leaving. But mine's the same. Mine was a busboy at a Chinese restaurant. <laughs> I was 15 years old. This was back in Atlanta. It was right before I moved out here to go to high school. And uh, yeah, mom's, you know, she was like, you got to get a job. I don't give a damn what it is. 15, She's you like, got to pay rent. Get a fucking yeah. job. I think it was the busboy. Then I worked at Hardee's, which is 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 Carl's, is Carl's Jr. Jr. Oh, right. In That's the right. South. But yeah, I was a busboy and I would, <clears throat> I think that job lasted same as you. Yeah. I think it was like, it might have lasted a month. And they know that too. And they know the shelf life for that job. They're like, all right, get the next one in. You know what right. I mean? So they're like, he's going to call out again today. So it's right. like, you know, next <laughs> virtually. Dog. And, and my barber shop was right. It was in this plaza. Mm -hmm. And the Chinese restaurant was on the top. You know those plazas that have a bottom and they have a top um, deck of stores? Yeah, like a and, mall. Yeah, my barber shop was right underneath. Uh-oh. And, uh... You know, so I, you know, I knew all the stores in that plaza. It was walking distance from my house, and my mom. I remember when I lost that job, and Ooh. she, boy, she let me. She whooped that ass. She, she and I was like, <laughs> damn. But it was terrible, yeah. and I would do the same thing. My, matter of fact, my mom would think I was at work, and I would, I, I had, I would have called in. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I hated that fucking job. Oh, that's the worst. And and yeah, so I was also a bus boy. Um, I don't want to. I want to go too much into that because actually yeah, it's not gotta, that I'm exciting. sure. I'm sure there's <clears throat> other people like you. Got to comment below and let us know yeah. your worst job. Well, Tell do us you your worst job. Know the top ten worst. Oh jobs yes, in yes. America? Yeah, so I'm yes. gonna say let's let's. I want to hear about the celebrities and and different jobs. That okay, different let's go have. over the top ten worst jobs in America. Come on. Okay, first one at number ten, taxi driver. Yes, and that's mm. mostly because they get paid so little. Uh, the average pay for that is 24k a year. Damn. Number nine is some bullshit. Senior corporate executive. I'm sorry. If I'm making six figures doing anything, yeah. this is you not. Better, you better deal with that stress. Yes. You're making that much money. You better deal with that shit. Absolutely. Number eight, public relations executive. So if you're in PR, also annual median salary is 111000 Like, I'd be happy. I'd pretend to yeah, be happy. Yeah, I mean, happy. different strokes <laughs> for different folks. That's a great um, saying. Number you know seven that? is news reporter. Number six, event coordinator. coordinator Wait, which why, is, why, why is a news reporter such a shitty job. Because Trump, no, I'm just Oh, you got to go out in the field. <laughs> right, and, like, and then project it. We're out here, it's raining, there's so much. Mr. Trump, you know, do you care about your impeachment? Get the, the fuck out of here. Yeah. <laughs> and the projected job growth through 2026 is negative 10%. That means oh, wow. That's not growing. only is there no growth. Backwards. <laughs> Backwards. <laughs> Um, event Trumpy coordinator Trump. at number six, which I get makes sense because, you know, wedding uh, planning is yeah, a, a lot of That shit is stressful. Stress. Mm. Number five, this is going to depress all of us. Mm. Number five, broadcaster. Yes. It broadcaster. Says <laughs> yes. <laughs> number four. The fact that they call it broadcaster. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like saying disc jockey. Broadcast professional. Are you but, still a disc jockey? <laughs> number four is a police officer. Which I don't, I mean, I could see, what, you know, the, the physical danger, mm. obviously. Mm -hmm. But they don't um, get paid a lot for the... the. Um, that's another podcast. We don't yeah, want to dive into police yeah, officers. Let's there, just say that for another one. <laughs> number three is airline pilot. Number two is firefighter. Dang. And number one is enlisted military personnel. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Why I is an airline get. pilot such a bad job? Um, I mean, can't drink. The fact you can't drink on the job anymore, maybe. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's one job. What was that, what was that Denzel? They what, drug test it, now. Was it a Denzel movie where he, yes, yeah, yeah, yes, damn, that shit was crazy. <laughs> um, I mean, probably the hours. I would imagine. Obviously, the pay's great, but the I part think of hours. A, people think as a pilot, you get to see the world, but I right. feel like you get to you land the sky, get right back up. You don't even get to hang out in that city. Yeah, yeah. and you're never home. There's no consistency in your like yeah. life, lifestyle, none of that. Yeah. Um, 
Do you guys want to hear the top 10 most unusual jobs? Yes, please. That people get paid She for? sent me this. Oh, she sent us this. <laughs> I got like halfway. I couldn't even make it through because I was, I was cracking up. These sound legit. I am so down for like half of these. Number 10, bed tester. Yes. Yeah, what the fuck is that? I guess when you, you think about it, it, you gotta yeah. test these beds. Yeah. And the funny thing is, is you know beds, you bed can't, tester. you have to get rid of a bed. You can't just throw a bed away. You have to, there's like laws about how Not you, me, I should just on the street. <laughs> Yeah. But that's why you see mattresses on the on the um, side of the, yeah, on the street. Can't, you can't even donate mattresses. I don't think. No, You're not that's what I'm to. saying. Yeah. But it's funny how things work that's because safe. Yeah. That, <laughs> I mean, because, a free mattress is a free mattress. Because, yeah, mattress but that's what I'm saying. It's, it's actually a good thing because think of all the homeless people out there. that are like on a come up. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah. yeah, imagine a lot of homeless totally. people wouldn't have a mattress. Yeah, that's another podcast for another day too. We talk about the homeless population. Okay, number nine is paper towel sniffer. That's dumb. Um, number eight. <laughs> this is so weird. Probably something Felly's into. A face feeler. I <laughs> thought it said face peeler though. So I was like, I actually like peeling glue off my hand. Remember as a kid, you why just would you peel glue? face peel? I don't know. I guess if you work at a spa. Okay, go ahead. Uh, number seven, which a lot of people do, is line standing. Like yes. I'll pay you to go yeah. stand in line for this new Apple Watch. Or Jordan this ones new- come out Saturday. Go stand in line. Right. I'll give you 200 So if there's like a, I hate a those game. motherfuckers. But like, how are you a professional line No, but that's standard? an unusual job. It's like a, a blunt roller. It's like Black Friday. You want to get be that first to get the 60-inch TV so you're mm-hmm. going to have pay somebody I wonder to how go much do it. Or just make your little sister go do it. Probably like $20 <laughs> to stand in line. Number six, water slide tester. <laughs> you might die, but go. You know, yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> looks like we're not going to be using this water slide. <laughs> Jamie didn't make it. <laughs> Go ahead and sign this waiver. You got, you got that. Yeah. You got that jet. I would Is like to know that salary. Covering that. Um, wow. Number five, huh. a snake milker. What I don't know the what hell that is. is. That what in the shit? Uh, <laughs> you what? Oh, oh okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay. Ron got it. Yeah, yeah Ron needs to do the podcast. Uh, smart he, enough. If y'all didn't hear what he said, is uh, when you extract a venom from a snake, that's a uh, snake milker. Yes, it should that's be awesome. a venom extractor. Yeah. There's a lot of other names for that. Are we getting into prostitution now? Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Also, respectable. Well, speaking of that, Nora, continue. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry. Well, we'll get to Feli's uh, profession in a second. That's right. Number four is body part model. So, you know, the models who use their hands or oh, yeah. their feet. George Costanza was a was a hand model. Remember mm. in Seinfeld, mm. that episode? Yeah. Number three, a worm picker. Number two, stunt tester. And number one, most unusual job in America. Dishes. Can you guys guess? Armpit sniffer. You're not supposed to guess correctly. <laughs> there was supposed to be some suspense there. I saw this list. This portion and of the I, podcast I is brought to you by Jergens Ultra Healing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Repairs no, and heals I, extra dry skin. When I saw armpit sniffer, that shit is crazy. You I was like, what? Up. Like, so I guess that's when a deodorant. <laughs> I said, where do I go? <laughs> yeah, I need that job. <laughs> where should I really even start? Talk about so a side hustle. Has to leave at three so today because like, he has an interview to be an armpit sniffer. Put that in the email, please, one day. <laughs> Speed stick, secret, all the deodorant companies. I guess they put deodorant on people and they're like, let's see how this smells after but an they hour. they put them in a hot ass room and like, they have to like. They got to do Bikram yoga for like two hours. <laughs> Hold on, look at this picture. There's a line of old people with their arms up and then that is another. Hilarious. Line of old people Hold that up to face. the camera, please. Please try to get zoom that in, in the on camera. That. Uh, Mars, can you zoom yeah. in on this? Yeah, this can... is armpit sniffer. <laughs> she is up in that armpit, though. Look at that. Yeah. She is up in it. It's She's all, it's all old audition. white ladies. Hilarious. <laughs> so that's some crazy jobs. Yes. Uh, let's get into celebrities. You know, especially hip hop. You know, we just talked to Jock. So rappers. So Jock, you know, that was crazy. He worked on on a, on the railroad. Mm-hmm. Um, All the little long day was that. I've been working on the rest. Yes. We gotta stop that. We gotta stop. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, it's terrible. That's the sound of the man. Okay, um, Sam Cooke. How yeah, that's going? all them old Whew. old songs. You got to sing to get by. That was back. And that's how Jock came up with. It's going down. I think probably going down. It's going down. It's going down. Guarantee it's going to get the trail road going down. Yeah, he was like thinking about the club. Maybe we had the club. Trail. <laughs> going down. <laughs> Stupid. Oh, Jock. I'm so sorry, man. What, so, I what other you. celebrities okay, were, were there? So, YBN Corday said his worst job ever was working at TGIF or Feli, what do you call it? TGIF. <laughs> YBN Corday said he hated going to the back to make desserts because it was just so 
fucking tedious. And but isn't he like annoying. 19 already right now? So like, it's like last year. It's like <laughs> working at TGIF Friday when you, yeah. Uh, Sweetie said Abercrombie because she never got breaks that, or legally didn't get breaks. They were just like a cult. Remember, you were 14 mm-hmm. working. J. Cole, um, and he's rapped about this before, at working at the skating rink sometimes as the mas- th- mascot for wow. the rink. ASAP Ferg says his worst job was at UPS, which I could imagine is very strenuous. Mm. Uh, Trippy Red said his worst job was working at Little Caesars, which doesn't sound half bad. I was at Little Caesars. That looks like a stressful ass job. It looks it's stressful, five dollar hot and ready. Wait, that you'd shit is work no at joke. Caesars, but you wouldn't be a paralegal making one hundred and eleven thousand a year. I will do anything to. Okay, wasn't that the paralegals? <laughs> Did you say paralegal? Without compromising my no. integrity, I will do anything for a six-figure job. <laughs> you heard it first. Uh, is it too, if anyone's hiring. Is it too late to build up your integrity at this point <laughs> in, in your life and the things that you've done? No, Damn. but working in Little Caesars, like pizza, wings on the fly, the breadsticks, the crazy bread, are you kidding? Yeah. That doesn't sound too bad. And people That's get, a reason to want to have a People get crazy, too, Caesar. like, about, they're like, no, nah, I want it hot and fresh. Give me another one. I should have been sitting in there for 20 minutes. Yes, I'm one of those people. Oh, I need a hot it? and fresh one. I need. I can't. Can I, I need another one? Give me a you 10 just minute. said that you're not going to be that customer. No, I'm just saying. I'm doing. I'm saying it politely, but I say, can I get a, a, a fresh one? Right. Hun? Keep going. Hun. And that's that's when I talk um, to the guys. That is like a couple, but this week alone, you know, Cardi B, she said politician. That she, she wants, wants to run to for pol- president. I don't know who wants so- that job. Well, man, because they barely want that. What do you job. think the first thing Cardi B would implement if she became president? Health, free health care for strippers. Stri- that's what I was going to say. Which actually, that's pretty dope. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey. You got to start somewhere. Hey. You yeah. know, starts at the polls, ends at the polls. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, is that her campaign slogan? There he is. From the poll there to the, the poll? From the poll to the poll there across America. This is Bernie Sanders from <laughs> <Bolton, laughs> Cardi B for president of the United States. How would, did, though. How, would, uh, <laughs> how would Bernie Sanders do her little saying? Oh, go, go. <laughs> There it is. Bernie Sanders for Cardi B, A plus. <laughs> Go Brooklyn. You've been waiting. To I love. Do, that's my favorite impression. Oh, I get. Oh, I can't. I can do Kermit the Frog in that. And Chewbacca. <laughs> okay. Amazing. Well, we um, want to know. That's, is that it? We got. We well, got. You know, just worst <clears throat> jobs. Like think about everyone in LA for the most everybody part. Everybody got a so story. Crazy. Everyone has a side hustle. Okay. Like I've always. I've never had one job. I've had the most. I've had was four jobs at a time, all of which pay minimum wage at once. Damn. And one of my jobs was to afford my other three jobs, like driving up to LA. So I know it's. This is America. (laughs) This is America. Straight up facts. Um, But like you know, some people think that you know doing Postmates is like such a it's hard job because it's not consistent money Mm. or you know driving Uber or uh, one of my friends DM me saying that her husband's worst job was cleaning porta potties but now he works at a nursing home so he's still dealing with shit so it's like (laughs) yeah so it's just like but like like porta potty cleaning why you gotta bring up old shit (laughs) damn but like no everybody I I, I really want to come like when we do another podcast come back to like the hustle of especially Americans nowadays because not much has changed. 20 years ago, you know me, fell. I was working at a furniture store. I would work from 8 a.m. to midnight <laughs> yep. for like four years. Yep. And literally go from a furniture store in Van Nuys. Come I got here. My, one of my first living room sets for, for That's right. uh, from Vinny. Yeah. Really? Quality and now stuff. Disco Drew has that furniture set. Fucking Drew. What? He always gets something Most for free. Most comfortable furniture set ever. <laughs> God yeah. damn it. That's another one. And Drew works for like three stations. That's right. That's what he I'm saying. He got three jobs. So this is where we're at. You know, people got to work uh, multiple, multiple jobs. jobs to maintain just a regular lifestyle. Right. It's, it's insane. So we want to know what's the worst job ever. Yeah, like, tell what's us, the worst job? Tell us, comment below, what's Please the do. worst job you've had? Mm-hmm. Or you can tell us what you think one of the worst jobs are. That might be the name of the podcast. Your worst job Wait, might be the name of the podcast. Worst Your podcast. Worst. <laughs> Could be the name of this podcast. Sally, <laughs> That's yesterday true. I saw that you tweeted, what's the worst job y'all have ever had? And some of the responses you got Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. were so funny. Let me go on your Twitter real quick. <laughs> Run that Yeah, back. I saw... Go ahead, go ahead. So I said, dishwasher at Taco Bell, my probation officer made me do it as a teen. Another person said, I used to sign people up for trap phones that qualified with EBT. I saw that. (laughs) (laughs) Someone said, I had this underground pipe job, and we used to have to go underground with rats and all type of stuff to put pipe underwater. You don't know if your finger going to bite... 
get bit off because it's so tart. Whoa. Like, the stuff... Well, I would you have flip never pipe thought... underwater and know how tart it was. Uh, All right. <laughs> oh, it's my bad. Oh, it's funny, Julian? <laughs> yeah, Julian's laughing his ass. Julian likes <laughs> um, pipes. Okay. You know what? There's several so, podcasts that we came up with within this episode that we got to come back to. Can you list all the jobs that you had in order? I think I still can to this day. Go. Okay. Um, Busboy was my first job mm -hmm. when I was 15. Then it was Hardee's. Uh -huh. Stripper. Illegal then prostitution. It was, and I told you about this. My buddy's dad had us like- A fluffer? A fluffer pull, tester. <laughs> pull out stuff out of a, a warehouse. Like oh. he, he had these warehouses. He'd be like, go clean this warehouse because they got to they got Go get them it. sex dolls out of the and warehouse. I'm pretty sure I was exposed- <laughs> I'm pretty sure I was exposed to asbestos. Oh, we all uh, were. Yeah. Yeah. When you were so an animal fucker? We would, we, would, we would pile up all this shit in a warehouse. They'd come haul it off. I think that was my third job. Mm -hmm. uh, I worked at a golf course, got fired because I took the golf cart picker, which if y'all know anything about a golf course, it was oh. the golf cart that had the cage around it. Oh, so yeah. you could drive the golf cart out there in, into the range That's right. and pick we're up out. the golf balls. Mm -hmm. The cart would pick up the golf balls. You just kind of run over the balls and it picks them up. Yep. You know all about that, Nor. Um, <laughs> and... You I, I was keeps uh, talking about balls. I was in this <laughs> golf cart with a cage around it, hauling ass through the course, and my buddy was we were racing and I hit a curve. Is that what you at, call it? I, <laughs> I hit a curve, flipped over into I, yeah, that shit fucked my arm up and everything. Fuck that cart up, got fired on the spot. Um <laughs> Uh, thank God they didn't make me I think I actually did have to pay some for the golf cart. So I worked at a golf course. Then my next job had to have been Radio. I moved to LA. I worked for Miller's Outpost. Oh shit! In Pomona. Miller's Damn, Outpost. Miller's Outpost. Dog. R.I.P. Dog. Can I just tell you a terrible thing? And I hate to admit this. Uh oh. What'd so I used to. We used steal. to put jeans <laughs> in the dumpster. And steal God them. damn it! And That's why Miller's Outpost closed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, You're the reason. I would take them. No bullshit to Gary High School, uh, and I would sell them. Me and the homies would sell the jeans. Mm -hmm. And it was back in the day when corduroys, you would iron the, you put a crease in the middle of the corduroys, fold them up under mm -hmm. with the Cortez. Mm -hmm. I used to sell the shit out of them corduroys. So you're a thief. That was yeah. one and of one your day, jobs. Pomona police knocked on the door. Good. And my mom, being the mom that I had, He's right there, sir. <laughs> she talked to like I didn't know. I didn't know who was at the door. My mom had a conversation with him, and they came. They handcuffed arrest him. Dog. He owes me dog. rent. Yeah. They said, "Here's a here's a great thing about Miller's Outpost. Shout to Miller's Outpost if people that live in Pomona." No one's shouting at <laughs> where. Gonna go. No one. Maybe that could be a sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> Sponsored so by Circuit City and Miller's Pomona. Outpost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I used to work at a Circuit City type thing. Montgomery Ward, actually. Okay. Same thing. We stole cereals out the warehouse. But Shout out to Robinson's Maid, too. People in Pomona remember that that Miller's Outpost. Uh, got, 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 had to get, I had all these jeans in my closet. Cops knocked on them. They said, if you give what jeans you have left back. Guess what? I would have They're not going to press charges. I, I gave all the jeans back. Like, Miller's Outpost didn't brown. press charges. But my mom whooped my ass. Ooh, good for her. Dog. So then there was Miller's Outpost. Then I worked at Kmart. Um, in Diamond Bar. Got then I worked at the Wiener Schnitzel Ooh. off of Diamond Wieners. Bar Boulevard. That's right. <laughs> Dog, I'm telling theme. you, I, I, I can keep going with my jobs, man. Damn. I, had, I had a ton of jobs. I, that I don't was know all if in the span of a year, too, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so like a that month. was the first year of my jobs. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, your resume is like 16 oh. to 16 and a half. <laughs> at one point, <laughs> all those jobs. Moved, moved to my grandparents because I had to get at, I was getting in trouble. Uh, and my granddad, rest in peace, he was like, boy, you going to work. Mm -hmm. And you ain't the only thing you're here to do is sleep in, the, in our house. And I, I at one point I had three jobs. I delivered auto parts. Um, I delivered for a Piggly Wiggly, which Damn. people who live in the South know about Piggly Wiggly grocery store. Uh, it, I delivered for the, the pharmacy, the bakery and the florist. And the third job I had, uh, oh, I was a DJ on the weekends. I got a job at this mobile DJ company. It was the first time I think I ever made, well, it was the first time I ever made money as a DJ. I was 18 years old. Wow. I was 18 years old. Worked at a mobile DJ company doing like random weddings and DJ gigs. So... Uh, jigs and gigs. Jigs and gigs keeps coming back up. <laughs> jigs and gigs podcast. Well, I mine is not that extensive. I worked at a, a arcade. Then I went to Vince's Pasta and Pizza. Then I worked at the Holiday Inn. Shout Chingy. What up, E-Man? Mm. Um, then I worked... Uh, Holiday Inn. <laughs> then I worked at like a Terry Lumber, like a, a lumber yard. 
And I worked at, uh, what else? What else? I worked for the Source Awards and Gotti Productions was the- When Jay-Z uh, dissed you? Yeah, when Jay-Z's bitch ass dissed me. <laughs> um, and then I uh, started working here, having left since. Oh, oh, the furniture store. Mm. I was working at the furniture store and here at the mm. same time before I got the production, um, commercial production director gig. So there it is. Oh. I was, well, I was a bus girl cool slash. Cool story. <laughs> you mean, were a my, bus girl slash bus boy. Oh yeah. my gosh. Anyways, I was a it's bus girl. Gender neutral. Then, yeah, Feli. Hmm. Um, I graduated from bus girl, became waitress. I did that for ten years, all throughout high school, all throughout college. Then I worked for TMZ. I worked as a PA, which also was kind of crazy. Oh yes. I had to clean up after everyone. That's all I did was clean the kitchen, clean the bathrooms, clean the kitchen, clean the bathrooms. Come on, Harvey. <laughs> <laughs> he was actually really nice. Everyone else was so mean to me. But um, so did that. And, and now that you got a boyfriend, shout to Justin, you you still uh, clean up. I'm going to go. Okay. I'm going to go. And this is, oh, what? You know what? The worst job I ever had was being Feli Fell's assistant. Yeah. Which I currently still have, unfortunately. <laughs> Some of those duties include <clears throat> cleaning up duties. Yes. Nor keeps my life together. She keeps my schedule together. That's right. Um, that Vision. was all the jobs? I mean, I did promotions assistant, other stations, promotions assistant, still worked with you, still working with you. Mm. Anyone's hired? I'm just kidding. Yes. It really is the worst um, job. I want to get back into, before we wrap this up, there's other, I want to know about other celebrities who had crazy jobs, because I think we're leaving some out. Oh! Oh! Ja Rule and his tax company. <laughs> yeah, he tweeted the other day. He's like, "Holla at me." Don't if you send Ja Rule your social security number and your taxes. <laughs> Yo, Holla at me if you Please. need your taxes done. Go to he's Netflix had, and watch uh, the documentary if you, if you need a reference. And yeah. he's had tax evasion problems. So yeah. what? He has no business handling <laughs> anyone's taxes. He can't even have his <laughs> own. Stop! Stop! <laughs> wow! Uh, wow! Yeah, that shit. one stuck out like a sore thumb. Well, that was President crazy. Trump might be on the verge of losing his job. Maybe. Oh man, Maybe. the impeachment, all that stuff's going. I mean, but don't get me started on that. <laughs> don't please. So what that really is going to do, by the way, and I don't want to switch topics, but that's just going to we will be able to look back in history and say that that this president was impeached, and it'll be a red mark on his on his record as mm -hmm. a president. Mm -hmm. Other than that, but he's had a lot of crazy jobs too. I he's going to he's going to finish star. his term. Yeah. The funny thing is, Real he's going to finish his only term. job was he was born to a billionaire. Parent. That's been his job. <laughs> right. He was born into Look, he had a celebrity apprentice as well, Vinny. If <laughs> That's you really right. Wanna... He's a reality star, reality star. Remember Lil John was on Celebrity Apprentice? I wonder if John... I gotta ask John. Maybe that's the next phone call I make. Yeah. We we gotta ask Lil John. Is it is, is he still? Does he have the N word tape on Trump? With Trump, huh? Just ask Lil John if he has the N word tape on Trump. Right, right, yeah. right. That'd be the question. We I need would ask. that. <laughs> Any. Let's Wait, transition anyways. out of this. We want to. <laughs> <laughs> Save you. We want to know what the worst job is or worst job you've ever Yeah, had. I want to know what is the absolute worst job that someone can have. Mm -hmm. Period. Because we're we're missing a lot. And it doesn't have to necessarily be jobs in this country. Yeah. It can be just jobs. Remember the show Dirty Jobs? Yes. Who was that host? What's dude's name? I don't uh, know. I can Google it. Anyway, I, that, I, I used to love watching that That was that a great job. show. I think that show's still on. Yeah. Or maybe I'm just seeing it. Huh? Micro. Mike Rowe. Also, Mike this Rowe. podcast is sponsored by Julian. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, thank you, Julian. Julian Banks is over here. That, yes. That's what Julian can do He's in our show. He's a fact checker, yes. He's just a fact checker. Can, he we, can, just, can we Google in? Huh? Google in. Come over here. Walk, walk over there. Mars said walk over. You're the walk fact checker. Stay right here in the middle and smile. <laughs> that's right. There What's the is. name of the host? What host? <laughs> <laughs> That's what he does. He just hits anyway. buttons and sends it out through social That's media. That's what he does at work. He just crazy? pretends to, to do stuff. He's he just hits buttons. So, we're blessed to have the jobs that we have. Yes. You know, man, I, bro, when I tell you Definitely. I used to be on some of these jobs, I left a couple jobs out. I used to hang cable in the ceilings. My buddy's dad what owned What didn't you do? You should no. start listening to jobs you right? didn't. I used to run fiber optic cable. <laughs> And Damn. we'd be up in the the installation. Like I electrician? remember one day at that job thinking, I, I there's no fucking way I can't do like I got I and then I got to get up out of here, literally. dog. And I ended up. I remember when I first got a break, you know, was DJing. Was you know I started off DJing in clubs. Started DJ DJ at house parties, but then clubs and that led to radio, and radio led to you know all the other stuff and. 
And here we are now. I had yeah. always produced music. And I'm still making money off all those things to this day. I'm like You're really electrician. Blessed. But I, <laughs> I was never an electrician. He's an artist. I was arpist. never an electrician. <laughs> That's right, an artist sniffer and an animal fluffer. Yeah. <laughs> Belly the animal fluffer. But Give me a large uh, chili cheese fry, by the way. <laughs> when I saw a broadcaster <laughs> on that as like, a, 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 when you named that as one of the jobs that... The worst jobs in America. Yeah. I, I don't understand that. I, I love... I love doing radio but then again I'm not a broadcaster in the sense like I'm on the air every day on the turntables what would your weather name be <laughs> Jennifer, like if you did oh, weather yeah. at that night on on a, on a news station, like, what would your weather name be? Like What's that Dallas weather Rain, news name? Johnny <laughs> Mountain. Yeah, remember you know the old dude Fritz? Yeah, he's been doing it forever. That's a, R.I.P. A G. R.I.P. No. I don't know. I don't know. No, he stop <laughs> it. <laughs> Fritz is I don't very know. much alive. I saw this dude on the weather the other night. Uh, <laughs> Felly Waters. <laughs> oh, Felly <laughs> Felly Waters. Yeah. <laughs> Fifty Waters. degrees tonight and uh, like Felly Frozen. Will be Felly cold. Frozen. That's a good one. Uh, but we're blessed. Yeah. Vinny, you know. He is. Okay. Oh, Fritz I'll, is still alive. Fact checker Julian. Thank just, you. Thank <laughs> you. I knew Fritz was alive. I was just kidding. Sorry. I, I got, I'm, I'm, I'm friends with uh, a girl that works with Fritz, and she's always talked amazing things about this weather guy. Fritz anyway. is making me giggle. I don't know why. Say Fritz. Fritz Maybe that's giggles. the name of our, our podcast. Fritz and giggles. Put it on the Fritz. Fritz and giggles. <laughs> Jigs and gigs. Okay. Um, Vinny does multiple things. And, yeah. And I know you're blessed to be where you're at. I love it. I love Came my job. I saw this guy come up. I saw his grind. That's right. And he's still doing it. Yeah, we need to, like, again, that's another podcast because we need to talk about it didn't just happen. Right. No. We worked, like, several jobs while yes. we work in this job to make it happen. <laughs> Believe so, that. So, yeah, keep grinding. America, keep grinding out there. We feel your pain. Comment, let us know. Yes. Worst job you've ever had or what do you think the worst job is and suggest a name for our podcast. Please. Bam. We need to have a name on the screen next time we see you guys. All right, do your little weird laugh thing and call it a day. <laughs> 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 right. You're not even, you didn't even do it good. <laughs> <laughs> Better. <laughs> <laughs>